Welcome to another video in which I disappear into the future and return with a possible technology development. This time I've got a TA65X biocomputer from the year 2037. So let's go and get this out of the box and take a closer look. Right, let's have a look. Uh, biohazard sticker, some drivers, and here's the actual board itself. As you can see, the motherboard has total wireless connectivity and is therefore dominated by the biochip. This synthetic DNA creature is interfaced to the rest of the components by 32 tentacles that carry multiple frequencies to allow massively parallel processing. The biochip is also connected to this sealed nutrient tank and which can feed it for about five years, after which senile dementia may have started to set in. Out of the box, the biochip is waiting for a wireless activation signal, and which I hope I can send it from a modified mobile phone. And there we are. The biochip has now quite literally come to life and is expecting to receive data. However, if none is available, it's been conditioned to keep itself amused to preserve its mental health. This is, indeed, one of the first computers not only capable of playing 3D television, but of writing the script for a good situation comedy. Here, as you may have noticed, there's ample onboard storage in the form of these four 2 terabyte nanogel memory tubes. By 2037, these are widely regarded as the most effective type of memory. However, they remain controversial due to the potential risks of DNA contamination from a broken tube. This leads us to consider other ethical debates, such as the interfacing of a biocomputer directly into the human nervous system. Even in 2037, this is illegal in some territories and banned by most religions. It's therefore not surprising to see that these nanogel memory tubes are labelled as not approved for the use of transhumanists wishing to augment their own brains. There's also this label that says sentient status pending, and which indicates the legal uncertainty of whether this biocomputer is an intelligent entity in its own right. The sentience question has haunted biocomputing for years, with many arguing that all thinking machines should be classed as citizens, whilst others, including the military, have never wanted computers that may decide not to think certain thoughts or to execute certain instructions on the basis of their own independent and non-human judgments. So there you have it, a glimpse into a possible future in which organic technology is replacing silicon chips. And now I'd better get this back to 2037, after which I hope to talk to you again very soon.